There was a time when Paul McCartney endeavored to persuade Vladimir Putin to release a bunch of Greenpeace activists by quoting some lyrics from the Beatles. McCartney was inspired by the plight of a group of climate activists when they were arrested in Russia at a protest and held in jail in 2013. This information will be disclosed in a future documentary series on the BBC called On Thin Ice, Putin v Greenpeace. On their ship, the Arctic Sunrise, the group was seized and charged with piracy and hooliganism. The party's intention was to record an oil rush in the waters of the Arctic region of Russia, nevertheless, 28 of them were imprisoned. A handwritten letter was written by McCartney to the Russian president, urging him to release the activists. McCartney is famed for his performance in Moscow's Red Square in 2003. When it was not trendy for English people to say pleasant things about your country, I composed a song about Russia for the White Album called Back in the USSR 45 years ago, he wrote. It was back when, been away for such a long time that I hardly knew the place, gee it's good to be back home, was one of my favorite lines from the Beatles sang in that song. It would be a dream come true for the Greenpeace detainees if you could make that happen. After serving their sentences for a period of three months, the inmates were finally released. Mark Ronson has lately given the world access to a letter written by the former member of the Beatles that is slightly less nicely stated. A compilation of video appeals from other significant individuals in the business, such as Dave Grohl and Slash, has been put together by the renowned producer as part of a public effort to see that the band Foreigner is admitted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in the year 2024. The video message that Ronson received had Macker sitting in his car and stating, Foreigner not in the Hall of Fame. McCartney was another guest that Ronson was able to secure for the event. In the previous month, Sony Pictures Entertainment made the announcement that they would be producing a series of four big feature films, each of which would show the journey of one member of the Beatles. Sony has described the dating cadence of the films as innovative and groundbreaking. All of the films are being released in 2027, according to Sony's plans.